Welcome to Owl Movie School. The first episode of the spy thriller Marvel show Secret Invention is here. So here is a review and the theory for this episode. Spoiler alert, obviously. So the first episode of this series is setting up the chessboard of this conflict. From the very first scene, we're supposed to feel unease and on our toes. They use Agent Ras, someone we instinctively trust, as our first scroll. The real Ras is a refugee in Wakanda. So I don't think that they're trying to say that this is a Ras we knew, but it is a nice way to show us we cannot trust no one. A lesson that we are forced to relearn at the end of the episode. Rest in peace, Maria Hill. It is interesting that it is her who finds Ras and Talos here. Almost if this death is in her way no matter what. Talos and Fury reunite, but it seems they've worked together for all these years trying to uphold the promise Fury and Captain Marvel gave to his people. This war is very personal. Talos reveals that his daughter Gaia is a part of a group of squirrels that are trying to destabilize the government of the world to take over Earth as their home. World politics are going to be a big part in this series, considering MI6 and as president are both already trying to intervene, even though I feel Nick Fury sees them coming. The whole time this showing shoving down our throat how different Nick Fury is after the snap and he is in a way, he seems weaker and indecisive. That's why he refuses to make a move when they play chess, him and Hill. But the fact that the scrolls killed Hill made this war personal to the Fury and are making him respond to them. Maria Hill was Fury's most trusted ally, she was a part of this franchise since first Avenger in 2012. She is by his side always. And here's where my courtesy theory comes in. Nick Fury already lost someone he trusted, Agent Phillips J. Coulson, and he brought him back. Yes, I know that Agents of Shields is technically not canon, but this could work. Both Nick Fury and Maria Hill appeared in the first episodes of Agents. They both knew about Project Tahiti, and Tahiti doesn't exist anymore but Fitz Samson did explore the samples of Daisy's blood and gained knowledge thanks to their travel through space in season 6 and almost every member of Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. died and came back at the same point during the show. They can find a way to bring her back. Maybe not right away but I think in would be a cool postcard scenes for the end of the show that finally acknowledges this show. We'll see how this series will play out. Please subscribe for more nerdy content. Thank you.